A Phytophthora epidemic often originates when potatoes are being planted. Even if certified seed is used, it's still possible that individual tubers could be latently infected by the late blight pathogen. Between starch cells inside the infected seed tubers, hyphae of Phytophthora infestans grow. While on the outside, the tubers look completely healthy. As soon as the infected tuber begins to germinate, the Phytophthora mycelium grows into the sprouting shoots. If the degree of infection is not too high, the plants emerge and survive without any sign of bearing the pathogen inside. It's not until a few weeks later that the first symptoms become visible. Brown lesions, especially at the base of the stem, but also in the leaf axils, where overnight dew formation encourages growth of the pathogen. Soon afterward, small brown lesions form on the leaves. They often have chlorotic borders. In humid weather, these necroses, found especially on the edges of the leaves, expand rapidly. On the underside of the leaf, whitish growth of the pathogen can typically be seen. It consists of a dense aggregation of branched hyphae, sporangiophores, bearing lemon-shaped structures on their tips. These sporangia are the asexually formed reproductive organs of Phytophthora infestans. A few infected potato plants are sufficient to cause an epidemic. Continuously humid weather favors the spread of Phytophthora infestans.